the Reggae for Life product will be f uh, for sale. Um, you might be able to get a ticket and a shirt at a discounted rate. So I'm working on that with the promoter. So that is coming soon. And I also want to big up um, the man them in Kensington Market, the one called Pressure Drop, Chucky Boom, the governor, 56 Kensington, this Saturday night, saying May the oh, what, 13. Yeah, you know, that is the place to be. And I did, um, the reason I play, I beg for that tune that pre previously, so long Rastafari, call you. It's because it's, it's what drives me, you see? It's what makes me think, it's what makes me keep seeking the truth and bringing it the best way I can. So when people have anything positive or negative to say, um, the one thing most people will say is that, well, at the truth, I'm really a try fine, you know. So if I am off, I am willing to listen but if I am on and you're offended by the truth, then um, I have no issue with that. I'm cool with that. I'm happy with that. So I'm okay, going to play our next Rastafari tune that helped to guide me and much other Rastaman in Jamaica because it's just it's something where you feel inside, you know, around you, my brother. We're looking for the one called Joseph Hill and Culture. Yeah. A big question posed to me daily on the street. Can you want to know the reason why? She and I just come out. Many people see her and many people ask her why am I a Rasta man? Many people see her and many people ask why am I a Rasta man? But it is because of the Babylon. The situation is because of the Babylon and the situation. When I was a boy about eight years old, there was a certain Rasta man, and he loved all the children, and he treated us like a man. Even the little children that no one cares for, we call up everyone, and he gave us fruit and treated everyone. The special love. Many people see I, many people ask I, why am I a Rasta man? For the dark I the love to give to everyone. Many people see I, many people ask I, why am I a Rasta man? There is no better way to express my love to each and everyone. One Saturday morning. A special thing happened to this man Here comes Mr. Babylon To take away the Rasta man so They root up in herb and they eat up in fruit And throw it in a van And straight after that for three long years I never see the Rasta man They took him to General Penitentiary And then sent him back as a ballad man but God could not change him, his mind was not in prison, was only his body, man, too. Many people see I, many people ask I, why am I a Rasta man? No matter what the battle be, I still am trying my hand. Many people see I, many people ask I, why am I a Rasta man? How oh, sweet the name of judge has found to every righteous Rasta man. I'm the same old Rasta man Told me pound chicken and pins Would come out of circulation And we would use that shoot bird man And I have seen Seven years after that It was no use man Donkey horses and cows Keep on trotting up and raping him man hey. Everyone has I, Everyone has I. Why am I a Rasta man? I'm here to prove and to testify about prophecy. Everyone I see, I, everyone I die. Why am I a Rasta man? Can the Baptist Marcus, Javi, and Christ, they were the Rasta man. Everyone I see, I, everyone I die. Why am I a Rasta man? I bow the bow up and Nazarite and I cry. 
man not care how the battlefield get tough we still have joy in our heart but we are fighting you know? we're in a position where we have to fight and the fight sometimes you may perceive it to be a physical fight but it is not we are spiritual beings surrounded by a physical outer shell and we're confused into thinking that we are actually physical but we're not that's why most of us walk around confused so Rastafari I teach in many things and humility and a willingness to learn. So when we learn, we learn to fight. See, and the fight, like I say, is not a physical fight. It's a spiritual fight. Babylon can't fight on upon spirituality because them do have no soul. Them have every physical bomb, tank, drone, bomb. Anything you need, them have it physically. Spiritually, they don't have it. They cannot defeat you, us, anyone on a spiritual plane. That is why, that is what they fear the most. As it pertains to native women, I, I'm going to go back to that for a second. Because <clears throat> if you want to do the hierarchy of what the white man says, okay, the white man was given dominion over all things. That's what they wrote in the Christian Bible. When it says God gave man dominion over all things, he wasn't talking about black men or any other man but white man. So the white man believes he has dominion over every other race as well. Hence why they have murdered on every single continent and island possible. One race of people do the most murdering of everybody else. Figure it out. Nobody wants to say it because they run the shit. But that's the truth. And if the white man is at the top of the food chain and the native woman is at the bottom of the food chain, that means that the chain is being weakened by the fact that we're actually keeping these women weak. What if we were to elevate native women to the exact same status as the white man? Humanity itself would rise, you know. If you raised the expectancy from black people, to the same level of privilege you give to white children, you would also see that positive change. Um, I love this track only because it's conscious enough at the time. I play all of my music, and the reason I play the music, I should explain to you what moves me with the song sometimes. This is Jack Cure and Fantan Moja, and they were talking about the system's ability to remove great men from amongst us you know and check out the lyrics of that track yeah keenly yes brother I rob we had the power to change just one thing here yeah, i come to the right man change the system me see myself yeah, on this journey i'm just a part of my mission i can't come see this one here me come up from home and i'm looking at my media Touch your Mandel free eyes and a song. Nitty gritty, Papa Richie, yeah. 
Can't let them get you down with iniquity Country and town in a pretty Mankind will take your crown for them living city I lucky things are rust and a licky licky I'm like, yeah, you're the sweet and trick, yeah No, yeah Them not feel great, man, them only kill great, man Babylon be still and no underrated, man Some of our saints and no earthly folks and Can't let them work out Them not feel great, man, them only kill great, man Babylon be still and no underrated, man Some of our saints and same so them tan All of them are all no folks and the more youth them kill, see another one rise And give Babylon a surprise Bozai, 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 Bozai A Baba can I children cry I pray for equal rights and justice for my people every day Forbidden fruit in the garden We have to eat them out, eat them out Forbidden fruit in the garden We have to eat them out them kill Malcolm X and Martin Luther King I see them think them bring up on Rodney King Millions vex, still I couldn't do that thing Things the last thing I be seeing, yeah Some of them for your bones, some of flash lightning Things the last thing I be seeing, yeah Them can't break me joys, not me love with him It's the last thing I be seeing, yeah Well, I cry for the love we bring and Rastafari
that's the one called Tony Anthony, right out of T dot. O dot. Them call it the 60, I know. We like T dot still, because that's when I grow the thing, man. The one Cardi Party. Yeah, proud of a Toronto people, you know. Um, having a quick conversation about certain things here. And um, that's a really cool tune by the one called Tony Anthony. Um, the one before it, Rastafari is everything. The Phantom Moja and the one called Jack Your. Many of us are led by Rastafari. If you don't overstand it, that's okay. Don't be afraid of it because it's about love. We, we, we may not bow down to people as quickly and easily as others, but it, what we preach is about love. And um, we extend it to everyone, and we live it. And you meet if, if and when you meet me, you will see it. It's 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 evident in in the way. I mean, some people don't love me too tough too, cause me kind of abrasive. But that is part of the vibe too. And I say it when I'm about to certain things. So big up to the one called Tony Anthony. Yeah. So, boy. Yo, I'm going to error. You know what I do? I'm going to read some about the Black Panther movement, you know. So before we get to the Black Panther movement, I'm going to go down the song list and oh, find oh, the one. Well, before we get, to, I'm, going, I'm going to come back to Book of Rules. The one I want to kick them out of them out with. with the, they don't realize what kind of I tell them, you know. Them don't realize it. Everywhere you go, a captured land, a white man own owner. Oh that chronic that I, I try to tell you now. Everywhere you go, a captured land, just like you are captured people. So, I'm going to talk about that one there first. Play that tune there for me, my brother. Boom! Good God of grace, Lord and will, I have his mercy. I'm a old slave driver Time is catching up on you Old slave driver I know you since them are on So way. carry we go home Carry we go home I bring the brown a east Well, I'm on a Rasta man A Rasta no live on no Piatta land Oh you mean? Carry we go home Carry we go home I said we said the land seas Welcome on a Rasta man A Rasta no live on no capital land I am well Lord America a capital land The whole of Jamaica a capital land A long time them won't trick the Rasta man Like them no know who said that man a real African You think me no member King Ferdinand And thief in Columbus have a golden plan They make a brown turn and end up in Caribbean One Rasta they no sight till no Indiana Lord and turn paradise in a plantation oh. And bring cross one she blew the African Now here comes the thief in queen from England oh. Now she come away well like Henry Mother Lord. Since she pant up a century full of separation And after oh. 400 years me send no reparation oh. I know them want to kill me with the taxation oh. But I beg you please take me to the mother And I beg you tell me me go home I bring me from the east Watch them panic up on the hill uh -huh. And looking at them plate how we properly feel Because downtown have shot off the kill oh. Them tell it to a wrist if it's a panic grill yeah. So come make we start a new chapter yeah. We not stay on the land where them capture yeah. And me say Africa fi all too rasta yeah. And so go tell it and screw plus factor Say, we carry we go home we go home Go tell them die And carry me go home And if you send your land seas away Yeah, man, I got the man I'm in a lip on a chapter Lip on a chapter I'm following a hand Every yard in a 
capital and uh, Me tell you shot to say that a capital and uh, Los Angeles that a capital and uh, And New York City that a capital and uh, Hey, some of the place where you want to live sweet A thief in the land there's no tiger feet uh, Some of these places where you want to live nice A thief them thief it in the name of Christ hey. Spanish town that a capital and uh, The whole of Kingston that a capital and, uh, Remember Portland, that a capital And I'm all gonna Trinidad, that a capital And Barbie, that's a that a capital Tell them Bermuda, that a capital And tell Colombia, say that a capital And I'm not around Cuba, say that a capital It's a wonderful segue, you know, because we are playing pure Rasta tune and conscious things. And conscious music, you listen to the lyrical content of these songs because the reason I play them is because I liter- literally listen to them in my own private life, in my private time, because the, the, the lyrics of the tune move on. I. So before I get into the, the, the Black Panther movement, as you hear the end of the song, everywhere you live is captured land. And I'm going to talk about murder, I can't murder and murder away. So I went here, let me look at Sister in Chatter, you know, because she had talked about the defense of black man in this country. And she have a song, I tell her to stop murder with black man. Run to her. Chatter tired of the foolishness, y'all. Murder! I never knew what they'd find shot in the air. Every black man alone Murder When you hear the siren and the cop again Don't start stop again One more black again One more child less than a black again So you know that the streets them lock again And you hear from the show to where they go balloon So you know that them just keep up a friend One more just keep they go lock again Wind down life like crack when I pass ten Yo, Mr. Beast Boy, no matter he's boy Top ten in little you then for freeze boy Brutalize them, that's not for the knees boy Then get your gun in and I'm just like your keys boy Babylon, you never know say karma is a fuck What goes around comes back around to stop you now your back Babylon, the racialism killing is a crap No matter what we all are one, you white or rip your black Cause this a war from slavery, Martin Malcolm X twice save we And get grave for them real big, how we did one way How we first start history, how we first start everything we start the navy Them blues and abuse we, false evidence them accuse we Just refuse it, we are the victory Blood spatter like black egg butter La 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 black life happy matter Head chop them pussy palm platter Babylon boy tap up with the cheetah Dream shatter like water caca Never lie I smell fishy like snapper Mama la ba la fi come with the grabber La 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 black life happy matter Babylon You never know say karma is a fact What goes around comes back around to stop you now your back Babylon The racialism killing is a crap No matter what we I don't want your wife to rip your blood Another you dead man shot in the head Left with black man alone Murder It's a good tough boy yeah. Black man a tough boy yeah. We see sword, them a fight, them a fight And I said I'm fine, cook a powder Sing to better hand down, they could do the hard people You better know what ya Equal justice for your standard Ah, ah, we set around ya When you hear the siren and the cop again We start stop again, one more block again One more child less than a block again So you know that the streets them lock again And you hear from the show to where they go balloon So you know that them just kill them a friend One more just keep they go lock again Wind down life like crack when I pass ten Yo, Mr. Beast boy, no better he's boy Top ten in the car, you then for freeze boy Brutalize them, that's not for the knees boy Then you get your gun in and I'm just like your keys boy You never know a say karma is a fuck What goes around comes back around to stop you now your back Babylon The racialism killing it to stop No matter what we all are when you white or if you're black Better run I never knew they'd come shot in the air Left with black man alone
You hear that bell there? That's a church bell. You used to watch cowboy movie. You hear that, you hear that, you hear that church bell there when they walk on boot hill. <laughs> I get no boy about to dead. <laughs> when you hear that bell there, somebody are dead. <laughs> See? It? We well, laugh, we well, laugh, we well, laugh to ourselves because Chatter do a whole lot of work for bring that tune out to the them, you know. Because she talk about murder and leave a black man alone. A beast boy, if a east boy. You know what I'm saying? Karma will come to you. We believe in it, you know. So sometimes we even about a fight, you know. And that is why this, this song that she has done, Murderer, Stop Kill a Black Man is imperative at this very moment as, as was the song right before it as chronics i talk about murderer yeah you hear this yeah you hear the you hear the lyric uh, in reggae music murderer you hear it over and over in different ways in different songs because we're calling out the one percent white supremacist for who he is the murderer the cancer of this planet I don't know why I say it, but I'm not afraid of them. I'm not afraid of them yet, because they don't come kick me in my face yet. But eventually, they, when they come kick me, I just run, stop running them out. Because eventually, they can't done. Them, 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 them can put out our lights. You don't know that already. See? So, because of last week, we started talking about the carding issue. There is a Toronto... Um, another one of these counselors, a, a Greek counselor they call him, him out in a scar, bro. I can't remember him name. It was the same dude who said that um, he wanted to boycott Beyonce from coming to Toronto because her backup dancers wore replica Black Panther gear. <clears throat> Mr. White Boy Counselor, whoever you are, can't remember your name. You're not important anyway, but people know who you are, so they'll know who I'm talking about. Because you tried to cowardly deny it the next day, saying you never said anything, but we are aware of the cowards that you are and the cowards that actually are employed within the Canadian supremacist government. So, we're going to call you on your things. So, the Black Panther movement, for those of you who fear it because some white media brought you the news, listen to what the Panthers mean to us black people. I'll, I'll explain it to you. The Panthers were brought together in communities that were being over-policed by white police. So what the Panthers did was started to patrol their communities and protect the people in the communities from the police, from arbitrarily beating black children day in and day out. What happened across the U.S., wherever the Panthers were, the crime rate in the area went down astronomically. Black on so-called black crime, black on black crime, diminished greatly. The abuse of the Babylon to black people was reduced greatly. White man didn't want that anymore because they love chaos, because the more chaos, the more money they spend on police departments and the more police people they hire, more, prison. more prisons that they will build. So they actually deliberately incarcerate niggas. And because you all don't step up and say shit, this stuff continues. Civilizations survived without police long time. Saying <clears throat> so, what I am saying to this white boy counselor, 
whoever he may be, whatever his name is, Mr. Greek man. Um, the Black Panthers are heroes to us black people. Them is like our super people, Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman. The Black Panthers are like that to black people. The fact that you're a racist and you fear them, that's your issue, bro. Not ours. So, I am saying to black people in this country, I would like to reinstate. I would like to reinstate. Where is the Muta? Yes, I. Good call. Good call. Yes. So, you are. Um, the Black Panther movement is going to continue. It, if I have anything to do with it, it will. I am actually speaking to people about it right now. Now, like I said, I believe it's time to, to look into a coordinated effort of Canadian citizens with black skin to seek protection. And it isn't coming from the police or the government of this country. <coughs> the disrespect of carding proves the point clearly. Duties of the Panther movement are to observe the tactics of the white oppressor in all disenfranchised communities and seek solutions to the protection of the citizens from white supremacy. In this Panther movement, I am seeking lawyers, doctors, nurses, social workers, spiritual people, every single uh, architects, I'm looking for educated people to provide protection for black Canadians that is currently being denied to many. We need to protect our youth from white supremacy. We have lived it. The children are living it in the shitty school systems that they face right now. Telling them that they have ADD or ADHD and putting black people. There was a generation of black children they put out of schools in the 90s just the other day. The whole of the 90s. No matter about three strikes you were out, they were going after niggas. And a bunch of black men today don't have their, their high school diplomas. We cannot continue to preach as I have been doing right now. We can't keep preaching and preaching and preaching and adding nothing. We must organize educated black people. That is why we are denied education. We were denied education by a line of over 300 years, you know. <laughs> them say, <laughs> if them say, yo, if black people could read, if they found out a black man could read, they hung him immediately. They didn't want you to have education for a reason. Because they knew that you would figure shit out. They knew that we would have this conversation. This very conversation we're having right now. The thoughts and the words coming out of my mouth. These are the things that they wanted us to never educate ourselves about. Now educating, education is one thing. But doing it is a whole heap of different story, don't it? We all have education, you know. But within the education, too, we have a thing called programming. Some are not aware of the difference. Both things are happening to all of us at the same time, to all of us, hourly and daily. I try to tap into my spiritual being to make decisions and choices when the information, as well as the misinformation, hits me. Education tells me I am supposed to know my place as a disenfranchised. And education also tells me that I choose differently. I can choose to link with others like me and make economic change to our current situation. Education tells me that I must elevate all parts of my society and not allow for the abuses to black youth that it is happening right before us. Education tells me that this current system creates criminals and no one is exempt. Not me, not you. We're not exempt. They will come and do you too. 
We have made it easy for them to abuse certain parts of our society by disassociating ourselves from these youth, from our youths. The system has worked well on me. My programming allowed me to turn a blind eye to those who needed my help, my youths. The programming on me has been a success. I have not budged to do anything about their plight. The programming tells me to say things like, it is how they were raised. Cha, no worry about them. They might get a picnic. Or they don't have any education. Or those people can never elevate. Or that's how niggas are, man. Or they don't know any better. And the best one I hear is that those people are hopeless. There are many more. <coughs> the many more derogatory things we say about our own black children that we have allowed white men to put into a box and we won't help them because we think we are better than them. Every single sentence I read above does apply and it's the truth. It is how they were raised fearing the police because the police are constantly in the neighborhoods knocking on their doors and intimidating the people in their neighborhoods. They do live in ghettos. Many of them don't have any education because they're kicked out of the school system with Ritalin and other nasty drugs that they want to give to people who they say have ADD and ADHD. These people can never elevate because we don't give them any tools to do so. Every once in a while, one of them, one and two of them does, but most of them don't. That's how niggas are. Well, it is true. Because they just won't sit down and take your shit anyway, so they become angry. And they become protective. And they exempt, exemplify certain behaviors that we call nigger behavior, but they must defend themselves. They don't know any better. That's true. Because we've, they've never been taught any better. And they are hopeless. And they do feel hopeless. And that's why the depression rate and the suicide rate among us black people and black youth is on the rise. Sin. My education tells me that we must deal with this now and for the future. The Black Panther movement, as I see it for the future, is educated black people coming together. Not a bunch of men on walk street with billy club and gun on, with, with berries and walking around going, we are black panthers and intimidating people. Knocking. The Ku Klux Klan and the Hells Angels moved into the court systems and in every part of society. The panthers must do the same. So, I am talking to people about resurrecting the black panther movement, so... I don't, I personally don't want no position on the board, but I will help to bring it to the forefront. Because that's what I can do. I don't know why I really stand up in front of nobody, because I mean, I have no behavior. I me tell white man to go to certain things, and that naga help the cause. But I'm going to build a Black Panther movement in this country to defend black people. Sin. I mean, you see the one car, Errol? Him cause trouble all the while, you know. But a good trouble you to cause, you know. Him pick a thing by Muta Baruka you need to hear. Run it, my brother. Good God of face, Lord and will. The weirdest thing, the weirdest mm. thing about it, you know, is that them tell me so much lie and repeat it so much time that it become truth. You know them say if you keep repeating a lie, it will come true. And we are all living the lie to the point where we internalize it so much that if somebody come and tell you the real truth, you start to tell them that them lie. It's a serious thing. Take for instance, you know so the cow used to go to the moon land before America got there? Yeah. I learned that in a school when I had son. The cow go to the moon long before Glenn, John Glenn and these guys got here. The cow was jumping over it. 
for centuries. You know, it's strange thing about these nursery rhymes, you know. Your teacher never actually give you your homework to go study them. But guess what? We know them by heart. Nobody has ever said, oh, no, children, we want you to go home and study Umpty Dumpty. Nobody study Umpty Dumpty. But guess what? Everyone away know that little egg. The man with a fall off of the wall. <laughs> Accidentally fall. I don't know how much time he can drop off on his accident. I mean, one time is an accident, but 100 years worth of time is that accident at all. You know, it's a setup. But this nursery rhymes in our consciousness. In our consciousness to the point where them actually become like a real thing to him. First time Jack and Jill used to run up deal every day. Now them get pipe and water rate increase. Every day they would have reincarnate Humpty Dumpty to fall off the wall. Little boy blue, who love to blow him on to the sheep in the meadow. Little boy blue grew up now and the sheep, them get curried in a little cold supper shop down the street. You remember when man did a panda for the moon, yet them did have a caterpillar figure so that the cow could have jumped over it every full moon and light will increase. Then there was a little old woman who never got to no family planning clinic. She used to live somewhere down back a wall in a one left foot shoes. Back a wall to in fashion now and she move. Jack Spratt, who couldn't stand fat, him start eat it now. But him son turned vegetarian cause meat scares. Little poor people lost their sheep, went out to look for them and found instead a politician and is now living on Beverly Hills. Mary, you know her. She had a white lamb. Well, she saw a poor peep on the side. She would give her a lamb to Cinderella Godmother for change him color to black before midday. And society grow. Little Jack, remember him? He used to sit on the corner of King Street and Barrett Street. That they put him tummy in his mouth and from it. While Tom, Tom was still a woman wig. Him fall in a jack from it and broke him friggin' neck. <laughs> Tom, Tom, father the Pied Piper. Turned pro now and stopped blow to rats. But realized that no rat never follow him down the river. And him dead, cause the clock strike one thirty, and the mouse never run down. Tick, tock, tick. First time man used to love them, but this is not the time for them, cause them the day is done and we're right. You know, we are come from a Jamaican experience where Rastafari is the choice of lifestyle that we choose from them time there until now because we grew up in a society where them claim say it's christian society and trust me when we look on jamaica if that is a christian society send me to hell <laughs> serious thing so we choose rastafari and in the early days rastafari got through no persecution it's not like now where you see people that twist up them here and I try to look like Rasta. You know, them have sister locks, mother locks, brother locks, auntie locks, all sorts of locks are going on. You, know, you pay $25,000 for twist up your ear. It's a serious thing. So it becomes almost like a fashion. So it's not that dread thing again. Because you know the reason why them just say dread locks is because they're afraid of you, you know. When them look on the ear, they say, my God, what a dreadful looking ear. So them say dread locks, you know, like terrible thing. And, it was a persecution unprecedented against Rasta in Jamaica. Well, as the sister just said, we rise. We rise. And this lax that was a tan has now become a crown. And we're very proud of it because the lax is the most visible expression of Rastafari cultural expression. And we're very conscious that not everybody who lax is Rasta. But we can't help that. We know, say, we lax because of the expression that it gives to I and I in our heart and against a system that don't represent African people. I am the man you love to eat. I used to sit down at the slums of Ghost Town and Trench Town, Bakawal. No clothes to hide my nakedness. Filth and mosquitoes smelling, biting 400 years of black flesh, scarred by whips and sticks. I am the man. 
locks entangled in your nightmares of medusas and gorgons unkept religious belief that pierced the side of your jesus in the sky your vinegar has turned to blood your water to mud crucifix choking on your life of neocolonialistic attitudes yes i am the man that came in clouds of ganja smoke choking you to death yet not killing you my eyes seen a black god casting doubts in your mind about your unexposed spiritual being black shadows casting clear pictures of an existence drowned by false concepts of reality black was beauty until i walked with my bare feet touching your tarry pavements of sadistic heat you would have accepted i if only i came via time magazines and vogue if only you were exposed to life beyond your middle class gate yes i am the man you love to eat look i am now your next door neighbor yeah i'm now your next door neighbor like a fuck are you i'm afraid I, I, that's not afraid i don't know why we're moving on our neighborhood then well we don't want to come in your neighborhood neither we want to live amongst ourselves. We want to live amongst Rastafari people. We want to live amongst organic people. Uh, that is what Babylon wants us to focus on in the people. They want you to focus on our need for the Mercedes and, 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 and the, the, what you call it there? BMW and the Audi. We don't want them. We really don't want them. We want to live simple. You understand? One of the things I, I ask for some of my people to think about is to um, well, look into organic farming for black people. Black farmers should be coming together right now, buying a lot. They might up a lot, not a Ontario and Toronto, you know, when nobody I do nothing with it, you know. And grow food. Bring some yellow yam up here. We can work up here. Bring some different food up here. We can work up here. Them have greenhouses we can build and, and, and make scotch bonnet pepper year round. We have things we can do. You understand? We should look into farming. Black owned farms. Because then when you start to create a, a culture of your own and, a, and, a, and a, a whole network. When some of our children come out uh, jail. And then can go work on farm and get properly paid. Not no like a minimum wage shit. Some good money. We don't have to worry about nothing. I'm take care of their wife and picnic. See? These are the things we should be looking into. A Black Panther movement. You are Muta talk, but Muta telling the same thing in you know, a king. Then I let we in, you know. But we don't really want to go where they want, them think we want to go. We don't want to live in a Beverly Hills. We really don't. When I talk about I am your neighbor, the neighbor is now that we are on your intellectual level because we can read and write as well. Watch that movie the other night called Hidden Figures, man. Yeah. Annie, I love you, darling. The racist counselor, Jim. Karajianis, Karajianis, Jim Karajianis is a counselor who said that uh, Beyonce was supposed to be banned because she wore Black Panther business. Jim, Big Jim, what's up, buddy? Y'all, heaven. We didn't call anything a hold down. You're not even, you're not even a redneck. You're like, uh, you're from Greece. Your, your parents are supposedly from Greece, so you should check your Greek history, son. North Africa in Iowa. Go and take a blood test and see how much Negro blood you have in you, son. That's what you need to be doing, Jim Kara Giannis. Yeah. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I get carried away sometimes. <laughs> Yo, Amoy Evans. You out there, baby? I hope you're listening. If you're not, I hope your fans are listening. We're on a tune fair, right? No, baby. Your tune. Baby, it's you. Shelter in any kind of weather, I feel safe. 
So the thing said, I had jet. The w when am I when the tune start play, you know. My era start rolling our seat, you know, and talk about <laughs> rent a tile, you know. So yeah, we we'll play your tune them sometime. We we'll play everybody tune eventually. Sin. Um before we run out, you know, um we have about five minutes to go. I'm coming back to the situation of native women and the abuse and the aggression and the murderation and the genocide that they have faced for centuries now and even in our time we're all literally watching them being murdered 15,000 in 10 years how don't you all say something when do you get up how let me kill, please, 15,000 Caucasian females with blue eyes. You know, so that really wouldn't work in our culture. I wouldn't get to as even much as 10 before I was captured. Everybody, everybody out in radio land and internet land, on a know the name, Carl. Jane Kreber. We don't know the name Jane Kreber. Why don't know the name? The white girl that got shot somewhere in Toronto and, and killed. So, uh, hey, listen, respect to her and her family. I, 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 there's not anything you can say to the Kreber family that's going to make him feel any better about their daughter gone. But John o. King, everybody know Jane's name. Please, somebody call me this week, next week, any week, and give me the name of some of the black women that have been murdered in Toronto. Or some of the black men or the youths that have been murdered in Toronto. If you can give me some names, that'd be cool. We should list names of our people because everybody knows Jane Creeper. White life is far more important than nigger life or native life. But we're aware of these things. So we need white women to get up and fight for native women. If you're doing it already, it's not being effective. I need black men to get up and fight for native women. Because if you've been doing it, it's not that effective. Fight for the people who can't fight for themselves. It would elevate every single one of us. We have two minutes to go. Errol, mm. where's the argument? Uh, Carry go bring come. No, you know, I tell you that book of rules and for change. Book of rules, all right, I like that. Errol, I'm a DJ tonight. Run to my brother, have a blessed night. Conscious Arts, Reggae Radio. Link us up anytime.